Ladies and gentlemen, due to the major massive violent volcano eruption that happened in the South Pacific by Tonga Island, a tsunami advisory is in effect for Hawaii, the west coast of the United States, Canada, and Alaska, you know, as a result of the Tonga volcanic eruption. Now, please don't freak out. This isn't super doom. But a tsunami is expected to reach San Francisco around 8.10 a.m. this morning, California time. That would be uh, 10, 10 a.m. Texas time, which will correspond with the high tide for San Francisco at 9.09 a.m. Expect low-lying inundation and minor flooding possible. And I think they're basically staying, it's best to stay away from the ocean. And I would guess like undertide and stuff is, will be extra. WTFE. And what they're saying, the appears to be tsunami amplitude continues to grow in Hawaii with this update just out moments ago. The National Tsunami Warning Center in Palmer, Alaska. And they've seen tsunami heights ranging from, you know, 0.3 feet to 2.7 feet. This has been the craziest, weirdest, wildest volcano eruption I've seen in my nine years. Thor News doing volcano videos. I mean, the power of the shockwave itself should remind you that Earth is basically a snow globe. So you can get a major volcano eruption in Tonga and have those waves travel across the ocean and hit Hawaii and the United States of America. Google was blurry. For example, a 2.7 foot tsunami has been observed in Hawaii. And if I say anything too super stupid, I'm blaming it on Mercury Retrograde, which just happened last night. So we are on day one of having both Mercury and Venus Retrograde with Uranus up in the mix. You know, planets are, all the planets are connected, man. I don't know what to tell you. Except for that, all the planets are connected. And the energy is electric. So smoke them if you got them. Definitely, Earth is smoking just like a dragon with lightning components. And if you were looking for signs and omens to kick off 2022, having a tsunami alert for the West Coast of the United States of America and Canada is quite a thingy. We are in the advisory stage, meaning stay out of the water and stay away from shore. We're looking for strong currents and dangerous waves in or very near coastal water. Wave heights 1 to 3 feet. Hey, do you remember how the crypto guys and gals were like, don't worry, we are harnessing the power of volcanoes to mine Bitcoin. And somehow, like a bunch of people believed that. And I was like, what? That's the craziest shit I ever heard. Hey, it's one of the good parts of Thor News that you never know what I'm going to say or how I'm going to say it. Here, we're looking at Mike's weather page. Latest HRRR for the Southeast, showing what you might expect. Timestamp, upper right. All kinds of weather happening. Snow, ice, rain, storms. And if you count Tonga, um, volcano eruptions. And if you count the West Coast and Hawaii, tsunami waves. So welcome to 2022 Asteroid Fight Club, man. I am your host, Star-Lord New Thor 7, the T. And I love you. You know, we are all in this together. And everything is happening in real time. Man, the last two years have been very crazy. And I'm only like 48 hours off my one-week YouTube suspension for quote-unquote medical misinformation. Oh, shit, am I going to get in trouble for saying quote-unquote? Anyway, ice is dangerous, bro. So try and avoid the icy shit. And I've been watching the storm. This storm definitely looks like a mixed precipitation cuts a codal dragon. I don't know how long you've been with me. We got a lot of catchphrases around here. Also, I do a fundraiser every single month to keep my YouTube channel up and running like a game show. But that's why I work so dang hard. If you'd like to contribute to keep my channel up and running, I've only got $989 left to raise for January 2022, halfway through the month. It would be greatly appreciated, and I'll do my best to bring you guys excellent information. You can send it to Mailbox, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Patron. Yeah, and so check this out. Then around the 17th, we're going to have a full moon. And then planet Uranus is going to go direct. 
and then the south node is going to switch from Sagittarius, uh, the south node of the moon is going to switch from the Sagittarius constellation to the Scorpio constellation, and the north node of the moon, uh, the orbital path they take during eclipses, is going to go from Gemini to Taurus. I don't know, it seemed like Gemini in the North Node, everybody was an expert on everything and everybody had their own story or version of every single situation. So nobody knew what to believe about what. Yeah, it was definitely a crazy time. You may say, hey man, the, the switching of the North and South Nodes isn't that big a deal. But the last time it happened was March 2020. And so there was a definite energetic shift that everybody could feel March 2020, you know what I'm saying? And so we're going to get the next big energetic shift. As Sagittarius, I'm happy to get, because they call the South Node the Ass of the Dragon. I'm definitely happy to get out of the Ass of the Dragon after a year and a half. Check this out. You got triple storm systems. This is a big major one that, lucky for us, what didn't hit us, but Nova Scotia, 60,000 people without power. This is the big one that's coming down. We're watching out for, and I think it could overperform. Then you got another storm coming in, and but these are the spots I watch because sometimes when you get these little black spots of dryness, that represents a possible volcano or earthquake about 25% of the time. And we've definitely been seeing volcanic activity out of Mexico, Popocatépetl, and some of the volcanoes in Guatemala. But hey, good morning. I'm glad you're here with me. You and I are watching the buoys for you know waves that may be hitting the united states of america and canada and mexico um in about an hour so tsunami advisories in effect for california oregon washington british columbia southern southeast alaska south alaska alaska peninsula and Aleutian islands the sun's been waking up like crazy we've got eight or nine sunspots on the sun right now we had an M-class solar flare yesterday combined with some C's. And then today we had another C-class solar flare. So you and I, we definitely live in interesting times. Yeah, did you see that? Yeah, the sun has definitely been kind of sort of freaking out or getting active. Getting it, you know, waking up from hibernation. You know, it goes from solar minimum cycles to solar maximum cycles. And it seems like. The stronger the solar maximum cycle, uh, the more Earth improves. And the deeper the solar minimum cycle, the more civilization kind of falls apart. So let us hope we get a strong solar cycle 25, which by all appearances we will, or we are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the sun is still a major mystery to most of humanity, or technically all of us. I was watching this show called Afterlife with Ricky Gervais and in it the wise old lady says you know none of life really makes much sense there's part of that that kind of rings true and if I'm being a little too conversationally with you right now I'm blaming in Mercury retrograde and I don't know I've been covering this story and I think my mind melded look it's a solar gremlin or whatever that is look at him he's very interesting and impressive yeah there's a lot of activity on the sun right now Official and unofficial. More unofficial than official, but yeah, look at all this, man. We have definitely seen some interesting and amazing activity. Coral mass ejections, filaments, solar flares, solar gremlins, solar tornadoes, pat, plasma, pop, crackle, snapping, snap, crackle, popping. And this sunspot spot has been quite the player. Popped off a couple of M's. And I think it was the C-Class that came off of here. Yep, right there. A lot of interesting things happening. All right, so stay tuned and stay cool. I am here with you. And 2022 is probably going to be wild and crazy. And I'll remind you again, technically, the start of 2022 is a three-act structure. You had the america or a lot of the people in the world the gregorian calendar i think new year that you know is on january 31st then you have the chinese new year of the water tiger that happens february 1st i believe and then you have the astrological new year which starts 
when spring starts, which is March 21st. So I have this belief that things will be a lot better by the spring, but it will, it'll still probably be earthquake and volcano -y though. But stay cool, man, and hang in there, all right? And if you'd like to contribute to Thor News, me, I would really, really super duper appreciate it. I usually do a middle of the month uh, push because, you know, bills and stuff, middle of the month. Um, you know how to do it. And I've only got $989 left to raise. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Asteroid Fight Club, M Michelle, Texas Angel, George again, if you're listening, and everybody out there, you guys are awesome and amazing. I love you. Stay cool. Yeah, these are weird days, but I don't think that world's going to end anytime soon. But I'm an, I'm an optimist. I'm Sagittarius. Okay, God bless everyone. And remember, with Sagittarius being the South, though, that meant, like, optimism was stuck in the ass of the dragon. So I think we may all get more optimistic a little more starting next next month starting on february 3rd that's my guess okay have a great morning have a great day have a great weekend and happy martin luther king jr day y'all may we all make it to the promised land god bless everyone